A padlock that opens with your fingerprint or Bluetooth? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Igloo Home Padlock Light Smart Lock and it is a fingerprint sensor based padlock. Now, it's not for outdoor use, though it is rated IP66 and works from 14 degrees to 104 degrees. I promise you it is metal if it's 104 degrees out. This is going to be hot to the touch, so you're going to have to be very careful with your fingerprint. It more importantly holds 10 fingerprints, so you can actually have it used for everyone in the family and everyone can have their fingerprints stored in it. The key is that it actually pairs with an app and that app gives you all the control over it, including once you're in Bluetooth range, the ability to lock or unlock it. Really handy. Now, a lock is only as good as it's strong and this is a Sen1 grade six millimeter hardened steel shackle. And that's obviously really important. And while it is battery powered and there's a USB-C charging spot on the bottom, it doesn't matter even if someone gives it power that doesn't automatically mean they can unlock it now one of the things i don't actually really the only thing i don't like about it is they have this little rubber sort of plug for the usb-c i'm pretty sure i'd just lose that pretty quickly but otherwise there's a lot to like here it's simple it's small and what i want to do is i want to actually hook it up to my app and program it with a fingerprint so i thought it would be fun to just go through that whole process with you now i will tell you in advance that it comes in some sort of uh, theft proof packaging which is a little tricky to open what i did is i cut around it with my scissors to get it out which then promptly chopped off a corner of the tiny little user guide fortunately there's not much to the user guide it basically gets you to the right app which is the igloo home app so let me launch the app and now what I want to do is I want to add the lock. So I'm going to just click on that little thing and I'm going to add lock and there we go. Let's see. You can see Igloo Home is expanding its line, but now we're going to look for a lock. And now the challenge is we have to wake the lock up. Now it says in the tiny guide that you can open or close it, but I've found that if I just sort of push around a little bit, then it does finally wake up and now I can pair it and we'll call this, what should we call it? Let's just call it light. Not very original. We're going to have it in home. So that's done. And we're going to select where I'm going to have it is in my home. And I'm going to finish pairing. And while that's going on, and that's pretty darn easy, let me show you. It comes with the world's smallest USB-C to USB-C charging cable. I really like this charging cable because it's so small. I've never seen one quite this tiny, but very helpful. But that's basically it. You get the padlock, you get the charging cable, you get the user guide, which normally is actually rectangular. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you have to download the app. So the app is available for iPhone and Android. And let's just see if there's a firmware update. And there isn't, so that's good. So now I'm going to add fingerprint. So we'll tap on it. And then I'm going to do this one and that'll be me, Dave. And start. So now, whoops. So now I'm going to do this with my forefinger. So I'm going to, you can see it's flashing blue. I'm going to touch it. And you can see there's one of eight. And one assumes if I keep touching it exactly the same way, it will complain. But as we have more and more devices with fingerprint sensors, I think we've gotten a little more sophisticated on adding fingerprints. And let's see, one more. And fingerprint added. Done. Great. So now... Let's see, we have that. I can synchronize it. I guess I have to do that to make sure it's stored in the lock. And getting battery info, fixing time drifts. I really like that. That just sounds so sci-fi. And we're good to go. And let's create access too. So now I can do a Bluetooth key. And this one, we're going to call it uh, Bluetooth. 
and it's going to be a Bluetooth key and we're going to create access. We're not going to share it with anybody though we could. And so now let's see, let's unlock this. So ready? So it's at 93% and I'm going to unlock it. Let's see what happens. Okay. I could hear it and now it's unlocked and now it locks again. So I can push lock, but that's redundant because I have it set up to automatically lock. And let's see, Bluetooth action failed, probably because it's already locked. And, and there should be settings. So now we can go to some settings and we can say auto unlock is disabled. So I guess you can set it up. Let's have a look. So if you come near this with your phone, it could automatically unlock. That's a pretty interesting feature. Not sure I'd be comfortable with that. And then security lockout after five attempts, it's going to go ahead and I guess it would shut down for a while. So people can't hack it. And let's see, I guess that's all of it. I thought there was the ability to turn off auto lock, but be that as it may, it now is locked and it's locked with my fingerprint. So let's go back to logs to watch what happens. And I'm going to try the wrong finger and it flashes red. Does it log that I did the wrong finger? Let's see. So I'm going to continue the sync and presumably this stores events. So sync complete. I don't see Okay, there we go. So invalid fingerprint was attempted. So that's good. So now let's try the correct fingerprint. And that, let's sync and continue. And unfortunately, it automatically locked again, which I think was less than helpful. Yeah, it's locked again. So I'm going to do it again. There we go. So now it's unlocked. And you can see here, unlocked via fingerprint and then auto locked without opening. So the company says there's the ability to turn off auto lock, but I don't see it in settings. So my guess is it's going to be in the next gen of this product, or I should say the next generation of the app, but who knows, maybe it's, uh, it looks like here we have that and pending and unlock. And again, I can unlock it via the app and it's unlocked. So let me turn off the recording and that's really everything. It's really pretty slick and I really like that it's locked and I put my finger on it and it's unlocked. So you saw the first time I put it on, it didn't work correctly, but that's okay because it's obviously pretty fast and pretty easy to work with. The auto unlock and auto lock, those I definitely want to have more control over, but I guess that that's an app update that's poised to happen because that's listed in the feature set. So what else can I tell you about this? I can tell you that it is, like I said, IP66, but it is intended for indoor use. It can store up to 10 fingerprints and those Bluetooth keys you can share with other people. So if you have this on your tool shed and someone needs to gain access to it, you could share that previously set up Bluetooth digital lock with them and then they get the app. I assume they get that all set up and then when they put their phone near it, they can then tap and unlock the lock. That's actually pretty slick. There is going to be the ability to do it from the Apple Watch too, but I haven't yet had a chance to test that, so I don't know whether it's there or whether that's in the next gen of the app. Finally, USB-C, it is a six-month charge. The no app should notify you when you're low on battery, so then all you do is take off this little stubby rubber thing and then plug in your USB-C and charge and this changes color to show you when it's fully charged. So once every six months you need to plug it in for a couple hours. That seems pretty easy to manage and that's everything. So this is definitely one worth checking out. It is a little more spendy than a tiny little combo lock, but you know, we've been using those on gym lockers forever and they're dull, boring, and old. So it's time for some hardware updates. It's exactly what this is. This is very cool. If you're in high school and you have one of these, I guarantee everyone else is going to be touching it with their fingers and trying to unlock it and you'll have a log of everything. So it'll be really fun. And then you just walk up and you use the official finger and it turns green and it's unlocked. 
So really fun, really simple, really easy to work with. Only thing we got to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, I'm going to ask you if you wouldn't mind clicking on that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and give me a like if you found this video to be useful and interesting. And we're connected. Great. This is the Igloo Home Padlock Light Smart Lock. It comes in this red or in black. The website suggests there are more colors coming, but I haven't been able to figure out where you can buy them yet. So again, that might be in V1.1 or something, but it is $74.99 at amazon.com. Or if you want the black one, you're going to have to go to igloohome.co and you can pick up either color there or any of the many other cool Igloo Home locks. It's everything I got. I think I'm going to go and try this on a locker because it's just such a really fun little device. And I hope to catch you in my next video.